Welcome to Mauritius and the African Regional Conference 2016. I'm James King, the banker's Africa and Middle East editor, and I'm joined today by Hugo Smith, who is SWIFT's head of Sub-Saharan Africa. Hugo, thank you for joining us today. Good afternoon, James. Nice to be here. Hugo, on Wednesday you'll be hosting a panel uh, covering the development of, of African corporates and looking at some of the trends in that space today. Uh, what can we expect to, to hear from that session? I think, James, it, what remains a challenge to us is if you look at the growth of Africa in general, we still see Africa's growth in terms of swift outperforming global growth. But the one area where Africa is lagging behind is the corporate adoption or adoption by corporates uh, of SWIFT. Um, and to a large extent, we need to create awareness of the value proposition that SWIFT can offer. Um, also to create a, a podium, a discussion point of what can we improve, what, what are the hindrances if globally we see great growth or big growth in, in the corporate space, why can we not replicate, replicate that across Africa? And as we see Africa going from economic growth, not swift growth, uh, we see local or domestic corporates becoming pan-African or pan-regional and those uh, corporates will need improved payments and banking systems, access to banking systems. So we really want to focus on the services that SWIFT already provides for corporate adoption, but also create awareness of the trends that we see that, that will happen and should happen over the next couple of years. Now also on the agenda for this year's ARC is uh, issues around balance of payment reporting for commercial banks in Africa. What kind of challenge is this uh, presenting to, to lenders today? I think the, the reporting is, the balance of payment reporting is uh, basically uh, reporting mechanisms and methodologies to regulators and to central banks and, and data collection is really based still on, 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 on methods that were designed uh, 10, 20 years ago when, when it re re relies on paper-based reporting forms, etc. Swift data provides a real-time view of cross-border payments as it happens on a daily basis. And we have a facility where we can replicate those payments to a centralized point, typically the central banks, um, which will give them not replacing what they have at the moment, but an additional very accurate and very timely uh, data source from which A, they can uh, monitor balance of payments, forex demand. We believe it will play a role in identifying potential risks we believe it will play a role in uh, forecasting uh, uh, trends, monetary policy, can influence monetary policy, policy. But I think that the main focus or the main advantage that we, that we provide is we can provide this data to the central bank without interrupting or impacting any of the existing payment models. So this can be implemented with zero footprint at the commercial banks it will alleviate some of the reporting, that the manual reporting that they have to do. It will provide accurate information that's you know, up to date on a daily basis to the central bank. We've seen over the last, well since last year, eight banks uh, in Africa, central banks in Africa, adopting this methodology. And we're just following up and looking at the trend. You know, it's as uh, they're still collecting the data. And the full benefit of this, I don't think has been appreciated yet. But from our side, we're very uh, excited about what it could provide as value to the community. It could also be used to analyze trade corridors, the evolution of trade corridors. Uh, we had discussions last year about regional payments. By analyzing this data, you can, central banks can um, accurately look at what's happening to their payments on a daily basis. So we believe there's so much potential in this. But again, we would like to revisit this in a year's time. We, we're getting signed up now. Lots of interest, but we really, I think the real benefit will only become visible in a year's time. Okay, so there is a real maturation of the reporting process uh, occurring across the continent today. Yeah, I think there's lots of interest in this as well. So we get lots of inquiries about this. Um, you know, and historically, accurate economic data across Africa has always been a, a challenge. We have a data source that's absolutely reliable. I really believe this is going to go a long way to alleviate some of the questions that's being asked. Fantastic. Now Hugo, just as a final point, I know in recent years SWIFT has been expanding across Africa. What kind of impact has that had on demand for your, for your products and services? Well, we still see SWIFT, uh, first of all, just uh, our traditional 
transactional or not transactional message based service, uh, growth in Africa is still exceeding um, the growth, glo global growth. But uh, we also see we've, we've had today, uh, this, this today our first uh, African advisory group uh, meeting where we discussed areas in or business domains where SWIFT play a role. And you know, I was very excited about the results there. SWIFT, uh, clearly there's a, a demand pressure for, for crime, financial crime compliance, the role that SWIFT can play in assisting banks in terms of avoid or countries in terms of avoiding de-risking, uh, the role that banks have to play in order to ensure that they comply with international standards. We also assess today the role that uh, the challenges that uh, traditional correspondent banking model uh, experience and the role that SWIFT can play in alleviating that. So it's really been, I see a lot of growth, a lot of potential and I think it's an evolving landscape. You know, regulation is evolving, correspondent banking certainly is evolving, it's being challenged by new entrants, it's being challenged by technology, it's being challenged by regulation. Uh, we've got a very important role to play there and I think uh, the community appreciates the role that we can play I think SWIFT is particularly relevant in Africa to assist in that role and I see tremendous growth uh, for us going forward. Fantastic. Well, Hugo, thank you so much for your time. I look thank forward you. to seeing you on Wednesday. Thank you for the opportunity. Thanks, James. Thank you.